donning and taking off personal protective equipment is something that you have to do at the perfect level because there is no other option. And more you do, more mistakes can happen. The only fear I have is that I don't want to be sick because I want to be helpful. I will be here until I die. So I want to stay healthy because I want to make sure that I'm helping everyone else. Coping is hard. Never did I think going into the nursing profession that I'd ever be in danger. It was really scary when we started seeing our colleagues as patients. It's scary to have to be strong and hope you don't lose it in front of your colleagues. Sometimes I feel anxious. I can feel my jaw clenched and I'm just trying to breathe. And that's heavy for me to bring home every day. Today, I felt it going into the hospital, all this fear and anxiety. You could cut it with a knife. Everybody's so scared and they don't know when this is gonna stop. It's tough because I'm on my own. I'm staying away from my wife. On the way back from work every day, I do go and see her. So that's hard, but I don't want to risk her being infected. I made the choice that my son would stay with my mom. And as heartbreaking as it is, it also brings me comfort that I know they're safe. Hi, son. How are you? When I get to video chat him, it brings a smile to my face. Big hug. But it is kind of bittersweet. And a kiss, because I miss him. Bye, Mom. Bye, honey. I'll talk to you tomorrow. He's asked a lot, when can I come home? I don't know, son. Mommy's working every day. And he asks, why is the coronavirus falling from the sky? So, well, because people don't stay home, that's why. You need to stay home, wash your hands. But I know that when he gets to come home, I mean, I hope I don't have a spoiled kid, but I'm gonna spoil him all over again. <laughs> I still want to come back to my family. I wanna see there is life going on. My daughter is baking cookies. They're making delicious dishes. I don't want them to be affected because of me but it was their choice. The, the answer was like, don't even talk about it. If you see us getting worried, of course everybody behind us is gonna be worried, but it is still like a little woodpecker in the back of my head. I'm risking my life. I try not to think about it, because that is a black hole I don't wanna go down. It's hard to get out of bed and not let that feeling of exhaustion consume your whole mind frame. I really try not to think about what dangers are waiting for me at work. I always think about what's the nice thing that I'm gonna do today. Sharing a homemade face mask. It's a little bit of moment of joy in the day. Now they know that somebody else is looking out for them. I'm proud to be a nurse. I would rather be doing what I'm doing than being stuck in the house. When things hit the fan, the right people do step up all the time. I miss you. I love you. So I'm optimistic. We're gonna get through this. We just have one option. Get up, go to work and survive the day. I'm so happy actually that I'm a doctor because I can't see myself doing something else. I know this is the time. There is no other option but just be ready.